here we are it's another day we here but we already know for the past like three rollouts two rollouts i don't even know no more i don't even know if it's a rollout but for fago case he didn't drop three singles for war two if i'm not mistaken and it's almost been two weeks we don't have an album all right and i'm not complaining that's okay you feel me i'm not i don't even care so right now it's just really tough being a fago fan because he didn't did like three rollouts and there's been nothing you know what i'm saying and anytime he finna drop something or he his team say that he's gonna drop something it gets leaked and that's that's just from him waiting too long if that makes sense so for example never apologize that leaked war two that leaked now we're back to war two you know what i'm saying like i don't yeah bro it's just been a roller coaster but i'm finna explain why i'm making this video and y'all know i've been saying this forever i'm always gonna feel like this ain't nothing gonna change my mind fago team suck i don't think there's anything that they surprised me with i just feel like they around i don't really know the full team or whatever but i'm gonna just go off of what i know fago has two managers that we all know of okay he's the guy that's over always around with fago you feel me and then you got barry it's very obvious that he's the one that's making the business moves for fago there's a reason why fago was able to meet people like usher and pharrell get around all these people in the industry because of barry not just because of the fact that he signed with cactus jack and travis but barry helps him with those business moves you get it okay and y'all know for a long time the fago fans have been blaming the management team because they're not doing anything out of the box they're not really helping fago it's more so like they're just around yeah they answer questions here here and there but that's it i think it was probably like two months ago or three months ago something like that a fago fan page had tweeted he said what's the point of teasing a project so early if you're not even gonna drop a single and this was during a time where fago wasn't doing anything he barely doing anything now but like and then somebody replied to that tweet he said at barry your management suck bro then barry decided to reply and said i know man so sorry you disapprove i'm gonna get better and he just tries to ego him and show all plaques and stuff like that uh now i get why he's trying to do that but it doesn't make sense Sense because anybody can have plaques right i can have tons of different plaques that don't mean that i'm managing a certain artist well there's a reason why i say fago management team they probably know what they're doing but for fago they don't really know what they're doing i don't think so but even before this whole scenario with barry and the fans they always hated the management team i never seen a rapper fans hate the management team usually they would try to get along and stuff and try to understand the fans and it's not gonna happen anytime soon because it's been dragged out for like three years you know what i'm saying and y'all know it's been a minute since fago team have spoken out and gave replies to people and stuff like that but early today that kind of changed and barry had a few things to say so let's go ahead and check this out but barry had made a tweet okay everybody was like okay he gotta be talking about fago he said sometimes i wish artists weren't so critical and scared of their art being judged by the public and just release their art all these platforms only discussing numbers headlines for clickbait and online trolling is up the pureness of the art form of making music and when he said that it's clear as day like bro you're talking about fago game you know what i'm saying like who else would you be talking about he's the only person that we know of that's in this scenario and then he made this random tweet where he was talking about kendrick or something like that or something random all right and there was a fago fan that replied to the tweet and he just put a random gif of fago looking disappointed okay and i'm not sure why barry decided to reply to this but he did because he ain't even had to put no words to get a reply out this nigga He's, he just replied but barry started the conversation because nobody said any words but barry said this he said bro i don't know why you think is holding his music up laugh out loud that's how i know how silly the internet is and bro had replied he said over a year for a new project the war two rollout is four to five months do i need to explain further he said at least give us a day or month i get that you had never apologized leaking which might delay shit and it sucks but we as fans are desperate for the album he said once again am i the artist no are you a fan of mine's no do i make the music no they are creativity people when they get leaked it changes we will drop when he feels like it's ready and i support his decision and y'all seen it for yourself the reason why we're not getting any music according to barry is because the two albums leak not only never apologize but he's confirming that even war 2 had leaked at some point so that's why it's being delayed that's why he keep dropping these singles instead of actually just dropping an ep or an album you know what i'm saying i just analyzed what barry has said a little bit and it's very obvious that he knows the situation he knows what's going on he knows the narrative that fago has on Online because he started the conversation you know what i'm saying he literally said bro i don't know why you think this is holding up the music like literally that's not what we're saying you feel me we're asking you why fago isn't dropping he's not a part of a big label he's he's just signed to 
fucking travis that's it and it's nothing really wrong with what barry is saying the problem is that they don't understand that the reason why fago music is getting leaked is because he's taking too long and i'm not saying that fago dropping singles is a bad thing it's not a horrible thing it's just like what have people been asking for lately an album or an ep something like that and then he said that the kids that's leaking his music up the plan rollout what rollout which one and mind you barry ain't you a business manager game you're not really too deep in with fago i can tell you know what i'm saying you don't really care that much and that's okay because you didn't already work with these big people so why would you care about fago you probably not even making a dime off this you know what i'm saying so i get why you probably just don't even care so before you start making all these big replies you have to know exactly what you're talking about because there's a reason to why the music is being leaked there's a reason why fago keep changing up his rollouts we don't know anything the fans confused it's a reason why i'm making these videos you know what i'm saying nobody just flat out just hate the guy but yeah man i'm done with that y'all see what's going on uh barry finally spoke out and said something thank god at least he said something you feel me i just think the whole team is confused because they don't know why this is happening for some reason and y'all know we don't just talk about the bad we talk about the good with fago because i seen that fago just teased a snippet with the weekend i don't even think he teased it it was on bible and page or something like that but but y'all know what we waiting for i don't even think it's gonna happen soon i think fago is actually gonna drag this out he's gonna drag this whole rollout out until like probably like the usual november december around there and then he's gonna drop a project but yeah man i'm done chatting y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario and make sure y'all follow my IG right now. Give me the 3,000 followers on there. Can we do that? Link in the description. That's my IG game. I love y'all. Peace.